Dai, Dai, Dayu family, and welcome to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways, family, and that you're moving into living life more and more on your own terms, in your no own narrative, in your own story, and that you're not giving Babylon all this unnecessary attention because there's so much more that's happening, family. And of course, we want to give a big shout out to our Patreon family who literally sponsors this show since YouTube demonetized our channel. We've been going back and forth with YouTube. They literally want us to take a handler and get direction on uh, on you know the kind of shows we're bringing, et cetera, et cetera, in order to be remonetized. And seriously, the Patreon family and all of you guys who send us love donations are the reason why we haven't sold out yet. And if it comes to selling out, we'd rather literally just say good goodbye and go do other stuff. You know, there's many ways that we can spread the awakening message. This is the most effective. This is the most widespread. But there are other ways, family, that are just effective. And there's something going on with YouTube. I almost feel like they're breaking down. Because whenever you go now to like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, like when you go to different channels that you, you know, of, your, of the people that you enjoy their material, when you go, it's like they don't have the latest uploads of the of those people and so it's like there's cracks in the system but those are stories hey let me not even let me just leave those to their own devices if you've noticed you've noticed now something very interesting happened at the u.s summit in the divided states i haven't talked about it because it's largely irrelevant to what is happening on the motherland i already told you these are not the presidents these are not the leaders and in fact, there's a, the message from an ancient, the ancient ones that I need to deliver, which talks about how they have already identified the leaders of tomorrow. They've been grooming them in the closets. Um, they've been grooming them behind the scenes. Some will come out politically. Some will restore nations spiritually. But these are not the leaders that will be working with the ancient ones that are getting ready to return. And we had better start to take seriously the fact that the ancient ones are back, the fact that our ancestors are back. Many have called them aliens, but other celestial beings, beings from other worlds that look like I and I family. Some are taller, seven, eight, nine feet. Some are shorter. Some have different, look different, but a lot of them have this melanin family because melanin seems to be a key to, you know, celestial travel, cosmic travel, to be able to move through plasmas. And, you know, we all know the moon landing never happened. They've never been able to break the dome. We live in a dome. Um, the circular theory, or the, the rounder theory has never been proved. Um, and, you know, it, I'm not saying it's a flat earth either, but we are in a dome family. And we've been contained in the dome. And it's funny because it's like, hey, I don't even know if I should get too deep into this, but all I'll say is the north is actually the center and the south is all around and the Antarctic is not down here and the Arctic here. The Antarctic is like a, a wall all around us. And what, sometimes what NASA has actually been about has been going beyond the walls to the other worlds. Remember I did family a whole show on how there's actually 33 continents um, and not the seven that we're told about. And for some reason, these seven continents that we're a part of here have been quarantined um, for whatever reason. So there's worlds within worlds and dimensions within dimensions. So um, the 1967 was when they signed the Outer Space Tre Treaty, which was all about transparent behavior, blah, blah, blah. But they came together and they said um, that, the, you know, they were going to now pursue um, what was happening in Antarctica. There's rumors and allegations that our ancestors are in Antarctica, their ships are in Antarctica. And beyond Antarctica, there's many, many worlds. There's even, oh, there's so many books you can read on that story. Let me know if you want me to go deep in, deeper into that. Although I already did a show on the 33 continents. Definitely check it out. Um, and so for now, they, for the first time, they've actually allowed Rwanda and Nigeria. And get this, I said nothing is by accident. Nigeria became the 22nd country to join and you know 22nd is a master number but it's also the vibration of this season that we've been in 2022 etc cetera, etc cetera. the number of two it's also been a six but um Niger so nigeria being the 22nd nation to join is not by accident and rwanda became the 23rd nation to join 23 is also a very significant number but why do they need africa in nasa and the nasa and our temis program it's because our people are coming back, family. There is going to be a visitation. 
And the visitation is not some spiritual being hanging in the skies. It's actual beings with what you can call chariots of fire. They're in the scriptures, they're in the Bible. With their spaceships, the ships are already here. And for many, the visitation, like for, for a few of us, not many, but for a few of us who have been on this awakening journey and who are star seeds, let's say, let me use that word, that visitation has already happened. The ancient ones are all around us. We see the ships. We're literally always being followed and surrounded by a spaceships family. And we're reaching a point now where those spaceships are going to manifest. It's like, it, and it's not a time. It's not like in 2023 they'll manifest. No, it's like they kind of have tried to predict that the consciousness of the people, hopefully by 2023 it will be there. But if your consciousness was there before, then you'll see them. You'll see that th there's many dimensions that are kind of interwoven with ours and colliding with ours right now, and we are not alone. And so adding Rwanda and Nigeria is not by accident. You know, Rwanda is actually what I feel like the New World Order headquarters um, in Africa. If you know who Kagame really is, you'll understand and understand and understand exactly what I'm saying about the role, why they've been made the, the, the perfect nation in Africa with all their, you know, with all their the cleanest nation and they're the this and they're the that. But, I mean, it's a dictatorship. Stories for other days. So the reason they've co included now Nigeria and Rwanda is to try and get our energy family. They can never do anything without us, seriously. So that now when they're meeting those galactic beings, they can be like, hey, even these ones, even these ones are with us. Your own people are with us. But they must think our people are some kind of stupid. They must think these ancient ones are some kind of stupid. They've never seen this level of intelligence. So of course they can't imagine that it even exists. We're talking about galactic beings where words are necessary. It's telepathy. They can literally drop ideas into your mind. That's why you have to really get to know yourself and work on yourself and being sovereign family. So that alien beings don't take over your body. Stories for the days. Maybe I'll do that as a spiritual defense. I've started a series called Spiritual Defense Family. You'll definitely be seeing it, um, you know, being released here. So for me... It's like they want to include Rwanda and Nigeria so that somehow they can pretend that we're involved in this whole, whole uh, situation. Maybe now they even want to use Rwanda and Nigeria to go beyond the, you know, the, the wall, the Antarctic, so that they can, because they know the beings look like I and I. And they'll probably be taken out if they go the way they are. And who knows, maybe this was, a, anyway, I don't even want to get into how the 33 continents could have seeded this continent and we had everyone here. We had the giants and the fairies and the dwarves and the, everyone was here, family. But they all now have their own separate nations beyond the veil, but we need to get this beyond the wall, the ice wall. So the only reason Nigeria and Rwanda being called uh, involved is because they somehow need us at this point. But it's already over for them, family. Because you just might see those two nations being rejected by our ancient ones on the other side because they are a part of them. These are beings that can read your thoughts. They can smell your energy. And not just your energy, your bloodline, family. They can smell your bloodline. So they know if you've come from a slave bloodline. They know if you've come from a god bloodline. And even this is not going to work. This is not going to save them either. Because maybe they're doing this now to help, to assist. But this isn't going to save them. And you know why Babylon is still not able to get Africa? It's because no one really even knew this was happening. And you need the consensus. These leaders are empty suits without the consensus of the people. And that's why they've never overtaken Africa. Because our leaders have signed every kind of deal to sell our soul. They've done it all. But somehow we're still here. And you know why? is because somehow the consciousness of our people has not accepted these deals that they've done in secret and would never. <laughs> but those are stories uh, for other days. Let me know what you think. What do you think about uh, Rwanda and Nigeria join joining NASA? Until next time, Tukopamoja. <laughs>